Simon said to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the ruin and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign of contradiction, and your own soul a sword will pierce. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. The memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows honors the spiritual martyrdom of Mary, who suffered seven sorrows as the mother of Jesus. We are reminded of her compassion and her faithfulness in the midst of unspeakable evil. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the light in life. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection. Holy and is with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and make haste to deliver me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, without dying you won the martyrs come beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus' father and mother were amazed 
and what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, <clears throat> and to be a sign, <clears throat> and to be a sign that the way be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Today in the feast of our Lady of Sorrows, <clears throat> we enter deeply into the human experience of the death of human sorrows, as well as the death of human love, and where there is love, there is God. Even the mother of Jesus was not spared of any suffering and sorrows. Yet Mary's sufferings and sorrows are intimately united with the sufferings and sorrows of Jesus, as we can see the seven sorrows of Mary. Mary's sufferings and sorrows also made her united with us in our own sufferings and sorrows in love, in light. God did not save Mary from sorrow and suffering just as he did not save Jesus from death. But as we heard in the first reading, Jesus submitted humbly to God who saved him out of death. Likewise, Mary also submitted humbly to God even though the sword of sorrow pierced her heart. We are to contemplate with her the sufferings of Christ, recognizing God's great love for us in his willingness to bear the sin of the world, our sins. And not just to meditate upon Christ's cru uh, crucifixion, but we, like Mary and with Mary, are called to share in his suffering, to bear the cross with him. In this way, our earthly sorrows can be transformed into acts of love. God brings about through Mary's sorrows and our sorrows, united to hers great graces for the conversion of sinners. Conversion of sinners. Suffering is the result of sin, yet on the cross Jesus transforms suffering into the remedy for sin. So to sorrows is transformed, even the greatest calamity, either private or public, can become an opportunity for drawing near to God and becoming like Christ and obtaining grace for sinners. Mary believed that God will save her out of her sorrow and suffering. May we unite ourselves with Mary and believe likewise. Let us now gather our prayers on behalf of the needs of the world and bring them before our loving God. For the church, may the Lord, the giver of all spiritual gifts, bestow on her every good thing. Let us pray to the Lord. For our civil leaders, may God shepherd them in their governance of those whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who grieve, may they find solace through the intercession of Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here in this holy place, may the Lord continue to help us grow closer to Him in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially for 
Paul for, for sure. May their souls be received into the eternal life and peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For our private intentions which we keep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, hear the prayers we bring before you today through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and work of human hands to be comfort as the bread of life. Blessed are you. Lord God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the wine we offer you of the wine and word of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominance, other and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the riches of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised and with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, God of host. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes the name of God. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was, at the time he was betrayed and entered the wedding gate of passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the is of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith save us Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, Together, our friends, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints to have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be careless to eternal life, and may present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the service common and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth be in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. As we forgive those who trespass against us, put them to temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Long down our sins, but on the head of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for in my name, forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us have each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son, 
We may complete in ourselves for the church, church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us pray for all who are sick, suffering for our family, our private intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. The Lord be with you. Almighty, <clears throat> may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.